This is devotional Easter, the miracle of Jesus. The doorstep of destiny. The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. John 12, 23. Have ever you found yourself traveling down the road on your way to something you know with a significant significant moment in your life. Maybe you were on the way to your first day of college or to an interview of your dream job. Or maybe you were driving to your wedding or speeding up to the hospital to birth of your child. Undoubtedly, this ride is different from your usual travel to the grocery store. Your heart is racing as your mind plays out every possible scenario. Imagine how Jesus must have felt as he traveled down the road about to enter Jerusalem, knowing that that road ultimately would end his death. Jesus knew that he would be betrayed, imprisoned, tortured, and killed. But he also knew that the hour has come to that Son of Man should be glorified. John 12, 23. He was at the doorstep of the dream of the Prince of Peace of God's great plan. You see, Jesus was on a mission to tear down the great divided between God and man. 2 Corinthians 5.18 to re render sin powerless. Romans 6.6 6, to defeat death. 1 Corinthians 15.55 and to set us free. Galatians 5.1 Nothing has going to stop him from pulling his mission to rescue mankind. Heaven was going to break through. This was that moment. This was the hour. And look what happened next. When they brought the cult to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead, those who followed shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David, Hosanna in the highest heaven mark 11 7 10 the phrase in the highest emptiest the outer most to the highest degree many scholars believe that jews were most likely called on heaven to partake in glorifying the inbound in the running preacher with cries of salvation why to confirm their growing suspicious that the one the Christ had already arrived. These shouts of adoration show that at least some of the Jews, Jewish people who had seen miracles listened to revolutionary teachings and heard rumblings and rumors about this Jesus all around the Jewish world for the past three years believed their Messiah was already riding in the riding into the bringing salvation free them from their Roman captor and establish his everlasting kingdom and at it is typically 
with large crowds, excitement and expectation began to spread as soon as masses began to shout in unison. Some humans are flickered, impulsive, and easily astray creatures. Just a few short days later, the very crowd shouted, Bless is he who comes in the name of the Lord was excited to shout crucify him matthew 27 22 at the heads of the religious leaders and here is the craziest thing about it all jesus knew that this would happen he knew what would unfold he knew that he would be betrayed by a friend and then by the peoples he come for he knew that he would suffer greatly. He knew that he would be subjected to a criminal death, but he did it anyway because he loves us so deeply and completely unconditionally. Hebrews 12 two tells us that the for the joy sets before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, what joy the joy of redeeming and the restoring us to right relationship with god to make us children of god to give us everlasting life in the, his kingdom he did it for the joy of you psalms eighteen nineteen says he brought me out of the board pieces he rescued me because he delighted in me, and because he delights in you and desires a relationship with you, he took that trek, he climbed on the mount donkey and rode his destiny. John 12 23 says jesus replied the hour has come the son of man is glorified 2 corinthians 5 18 says all this is from god who reconciled us to to himself through christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation 1 Corinthians 15:55 Where O oh, death is your victory O oh, where O oh, death is your sting Galatians 5:1 says It is for the key, for it is for the freedom that Christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke or slavery mark 11 7 through 10 says then they brought the colt to jesus and threw their cloaks over there over it he sat on it many people spread their cloaks on the road while others spread branches they had cut the fields, those who went ahead, and those who followed shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Matthew 27, 22 says, Well should I do then? Jesus, who is called the Messiah, Pilate asked, they all answered, Crucify him. Hebrew 12, 2 says, Fix our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, of the joy sets before him. He endures the cross, scorn its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12, 2. 
Psalms, Psalms, Psalms 18, 19 says, He brought me out of the spacious, sp spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. In me. This is devotional Easter, the miracle of Jesus. Thank you for joining in today. See you next time. Bye.